Hi, this is Marie, and today we're making this crochet boho crossbody bag. It's beginner, it's easy, it is quick to make. I went ahead and lined it on the video so you can see how to line it if you'd like. If not, you can leave that part off. We um, crochet a strap for it, and you can make whatever size that you would like. So if you're taller, you can make it longer, shorter, you could make it shorter. I love how it turned out. We're also using Harmony ice yarns, a multicolored ice yarn, and then we're using Softly Baby in the cream color. And I didn't use a full skein. I used just a partial of each. This is what I had left after I started with a full skein. So let's get started. Today we're going to make this crossbody bag. It goes together real quick. It's crocheted. I used Harmony and I also used Softly Baby from Ice Yarn in a cream color. I used a size H hook, but you can use whatever you like. These are two different examples of H hooks. I um, will use a tapestry needle, some scissors, a um, tape measure, and then stitch markers if you'd like. It's super fun and super quick to make. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start by making our squares and we're gonna go ahead and make a magic ring. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cross the yarn like this. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. And I'm going to go ahead and put my crochet hook through the middle of the ring and then pull through and yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And that's my first double crochet that I'm going to be making. I'm gonna yarn over, put it through the center of the ring, and I'm holding down here both end, this is the end of the yarn, and uh, the other piece of yarn is going to my ball. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to that. I'm gonna go ahead and yarn over, Put it through the, the circle, the ring, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then I'm going to go ahead and do one more double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, put it through the center of the circle, and then I'm going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And so you can go ahead and pull this little string, which is the end. Um, the tail. You can pull it and it will tighten up your little circle and make it smaller so that it's more manageable. And then I'm going to go ahead and do two chains. One, two. And I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to do my next, and that's, we're doing the corner spaces of the square right now. And I'm going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're doing our next set of three double crochets. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we've got, at this point, we have double crochets. We've got our first, basically it's a chain two, the two double crochets. We've got our chain two on the corner, and then we've got our three double crochets right there. We're going to go ahead and do two more chains, one, two, and then we're going to yarn over and do our next set of three double crochets. Okay, so it looks like this at this point. So we have our corners right here. I'm gonna go ahead and chain two. And I'm gonna do my next and last set of double crochets in this first round. I'm gonna do three double crochets. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up a little bit so you can kind of see our square coming together. And I'm going to do two chains for that last corner. And then I'm going to slip stitch it into this top, right there, that top of that first um, chain two. I'm going to go ahead and just slip my hook in there and yarn over and pull through that so that I've slip stitched it back together to make a little square. 
So I'm going to go ahead and pull my string. And now it looks like I have my first square. So I am changing colors on each row of mine, but you can continue on with the same yarn. You can do whatever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and snip my yarn. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this and pull it through the loop. So there we go. So we have our first square. We have this one little piece of yarn that's on the back that is the tightener to the ring. And so that it might loosen up as we go and we'll just pull it tight. And um, in the end, we'll go ahead and weave that in. But I'm going to wait to weave it in till a little bit later. And we're going to go ahead and make our next round of our square. So I'm going to go ahead and change to another ball of yarn. This is our other color that we're using. And I'm going to go ahead and you can do this. You can attach it any way you like. I'm going to go ahead and just make a little loop like this. I'll slow that down again. Just like that. And then I'm going to slip my hook on the loop and I'm going to go ahead and start in the same hole that has the end right here so that I can just crochet over that. Our loop on our hook and we're going to go ahead and insert it into the, the two space square on the corner and I'm going to go ahead and pull through and I'm going to yarn over and pull through two. So that's how I'm attaching it to uh, the corner and then I'll go ahead and do another chain and I'm going to do two more chains. So I have four chains total. So the first two chains count for the double crochet and then these two count for the corner two. And then I'm going to go ahead and yarn over and I'm going to make another double crochet. And then I'm going to go ahead and yarn over and make another double crochet. So it looks like this so far. I'm going to go ahead and because I have my pink end and my white end, I'm going to go ahead and crochet over those. And I'm going to go ahead and put a double crochet in the top of each double crochet. And so this first one is a little weird, but I'm going to go ahead and get into the top of that one right there. Okay. And I'm making sure to um, crochet over the top of these two ends at the same time. And you, you don't have to do that. You can just sew them in later on, but I do that just so I don't have to sew in so many ends. I'm going to go ahead and go into the top of the second double crochet. And the top of this last double crochet. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. We've got the first two double crochets. We've double crocheted in the top of each one of the first three. And then we're going to go ahead and two more double crochets in this corner. And I'm just double crocheting over the corner space and then these two little ends so that I don't have to weave them in later on. So, so now we have, so each row is going to basically have a double crochet in the top of each of the three plus two double crochets on either end in the, in the hole on either end. And then I'm going to go ahead and chain two and double crochet, two double crochets in the, the hole. And so we're making the corner right now of the next round. So that's what our corner looks like. It's, it's the hole and then it has two double crochets, two chains and two double crochets. And we're going to go ahead and double crochet in the top of each previous double crochet. Okay, so it looks like that. And then we're going to do two more double crochets in this end hole. And two chains. And then two double crochets. like 
that. I'm going to go ahead at this point and just snip those two ends that I crocheted over. So if we look on the back, I crocheted over them all the way around. And that's going to be on the inside of our bag so you won't really see it even if it's a little bit thicker back there because you crocheted over them. So I'm going to go ahead and be careful not to snip the wrong yarn. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull this little end to tighten it up again. And I'm going to go ahead and continue on double crocheting in the next three stitches the tops of the next three double crochets and double crochet and double crochet, two double crochets in the next corner and then two chains, two double crochets this is what it looks like so far and we will sew that end in. I, maybe I'll do that sooner so we don't have to keep tightening it up. And then we'll go ahead and double crochet in the top of each of the three double crochets. And then we'll do another double crochet. So we're going to do one more double crochet because that first three that's our first double crochet and we have one more to put here so that we have our set of two. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more double crochet in front of that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into that, not this first um, chain, but the second one up and slip, do a yarn over and slip it through and then slip through this one and then we have our square. So that's what it's looking like. And I'm going to go ahead and change colors again. So I'll go ahead and snip that yarn. I'm going to go ahead and yarn over and pull through that loop and tighten that up. And at this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and just tighten up this so we don't have to keep pulling on it. And I'm going to go ahead and weave in the ends. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'm on the back side of it. I'm just going to go ahead and weave in. Just like that. Maybe I'll make like a little... I kind of like to make sure that they're not going to come loose. So I might do like a little loop, pull the needle through, like that sort of thing and then continue on weaving in just a few more times. So it's kind of like a little buried knot kind of a thing, I know. You don't have to do that, it's whatever you feel comfortable with. If you just feel comfortable just weaving it in, that's fine too. But I just want to make sure it doesn't come unraveled at a later date from the center. Okay, all right, I'm good with that. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this. Okay, so now we've got our second round done and I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my white yarn, make another loop, just like this, bring the yarn behind, and then tighten it up. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start on this corner this time, but we will still um, crochet over this end. I'm going to go ahead and put my crochet hook into the corner and I'm going to go ahead and start on this corner just so that I'm further away from this end and I'll crochet over it when I get there. But I'm going to go ahead and do yarn over and pull the yarn through and then yarn over, pull through two. So I've just attached it. I'm just considering that my first um, single crochet or my first chain stitch is really what it is. And then I'm going to chain one more again and then chain two more for the corner. So this, I'm going to consider that first one and the second one my first double crochet. These two will be considered my um, chain two and then I'm going to go ahead and do another double crochet. 
just like that. Yarn over, do another double crochet in that very first stitch. So I'm going to go into the top of that first double crochet and in the top of each other one. And when I go into the top, I'm just going into these like that. That is how I'm going in, into the top of the stitch. Oops, I didn't yarn over first. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to do, um, so I've double crocheted, um, I've done my corner, so just going back to the beginning, I've done my corner where I've um, done that first double crochet, the chain two, I've done two double crochets, and then I've double crocheted in the top of each one of these, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm going to do two more double crochets in the next corner. And I'm, um, I'm starting to double crochet over the top of this little end from the previous round. Okay, so then I have the two on this end, seven on the top of each one of those, and then the two on this end. And then I'm going to do chain two and continue on. So two double crochets. Chain, um, and then double crochet in the top of each one of the other double crochets and then chain two. So I will catch up with you when I get all the way around to the other side. Okay, so I am back. I have continued on with my square. I am just at the point where I'm meeting up with the other yarn. I thought you might like to see that again. So I've done my uh, two double crochets, double crocheted in the top of each one of these. And then I have one more double crochet to do in this corner. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into the top of not this chain, but the next chain up and then yarn over and then slip stitch. So it looks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and snip my yarn. pull it through. Okay, so this is what my square looks like at this point. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and grab my multicolored yarn for the next round and then continue on with the same sort of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and make my loop. going to go into the corner. I'm not going to start in this corner. I'm going to start in the one before it so that I can crochet over this yarn where I've attached it. And I'm going to go ahead and do four chains. I'm going to pull the tail over here so that I can crochet over it. I'm going to do my two double crochets. And again, this is the first double crochet. I have the chain two in here. And then these are the two double crochets. And I'm gonna go ahead and double crochet in the top of each one of these stitches. Just like we've been doing before. So basically we're always gonna put two double crochets we're going to double crochet in the top of every single double crochet on the previous round and then we're going to put two more double crochets. We're going to chain two in that corner and I will catch up with you when I get further around. Okay, so I have uh, crocheted all the way around this round and I started with the chain four. I did the two double crochets in the corner. I did a double crochet in the top of each um, of the previous double crochets in the previous row, two double crochets in the corner, chain two. Just did that all the way around. 
And then I'm at the end, I'm going to go ahead and do one more double crochet in the top of this last double crochet from the previous round. And then I have one last double crochet to put in here before this chain four to make my two for the corner. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into the top of that second chain, pull through, pull through that, yarn over, pull through all of that. Okay, and then so this square, uh, this round on the square is done. I'm going to go ahead and do the next two rounds on the square. I'm going to go ahead back to my white. I'm going to do the same exact thing with the two double crochets in the corner, the double crochets in the top of each of the other double crochets, two in the corner, and then I'll meet up with you. Okay, so we're back. I've done the white round. I'm going to go ahead and double crochet one last double crochet in that corner. And then into the second chain up, I'm going to bring the yarn through that, bring and slip the yarn through that last one. I'm going to go ahead and snip my yarn and pull the yarn through. And so this is what the square is looking like at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and do my last row of color and then I'll catch back up with you. Just doing the same exact thing, go into this corner, chain two space. I'm going to go ahead and do my four chains, just like we did on all of the rest of the rounds. One, uh, let's see, so there's four. So that one counts as the first one, and then two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and so that's the first double crochet, then the chain two for the corner space. Go ahead and do two more double crochets. So we're doing just the same exact thing on this last round, double crochet in the top of each one of those. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in that corner. And I'll catch back up with you when we get to the very end of this square. I'm back around to the very end of this last row of color. And I'm going to go ahead and do my last double crochet in that space, the corner space, and then go ahead and attach in that second chain. Okay, so this is our square. This is how it turned out. And of course, because we're using multicolored yarn, it's going to be different on every square. I'm gonna go ahead and make three more of these squares and then meet back up with you to put them together to make the bag. Okay, all right, see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back with all of my squares. So I have four different squares. I am just weaving in the ends for all of them. The last end that I had to weave in was one of the ones for the outer um, edge of double crochets on the square. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you how I did them. Just going, just going to go ahead and weave in the ends. I know you can just do whatever you like to weave it in, but I just like to kind of go through a few stitches just to make sure that it's make sure that it's secure. Okay. So that looks good to me. I'm just going to go ahead and trim that end. Okay. Go ahead and put my needle over there. Okay, so now that I have my four different squares and really the color changing pattern just happens automatically when you just crochet with 
some sort of color changing yarn. So they all look different. So you could um, just go ahead and when you're making it, you know, if you didn't like, say you didn't like this green color, you could, you know, omit that color and just snip that color out of the ball and, you know, use a different color area of the ball. So that's the good thing about using this color changing yarn. You could pick whatever you'd like, but I did not do any of that. I just let it go um, where it fell in the square. So, all right, so we've got our four squares. Now we're going to go ahead and crochet them together to make a bag. So I'm going to go ahead and pick which square you want in the center of your bag. So I'm going to say I would like this one in the center on one side and this one in the center on the other side. And basically what we're going to do is this is your bag like this and this is the inside of the bag right here. And then on these corners we're going to go ahead and crochet this to this and then on the other side that will get crocheted to that. So it'll be kind of like that. So I would go ahead and pick which squares you wanted large on each side and then we'll start adding the corner squares to our large squares. So I'm going to go ahead and use I think the white to connect them. I'm going to go ahead and make a loop and pull through just like we started all the other squares or adding colors to the other squares and I'm going to take one of the squares and I'm going to match up the hole on the corner right here this hole in the corner with this other hole on this other corner and this these are inside um, like wrong side to wrong side so if I'm looking at this the right side is the side where all of the stitches are kind of um, lying nicely and then the other side is this is the back side of the the crochet so you do back side to back side. You go ahead and put the corners together. So this corner, I'm going to go ahead and go through with my crochet hook and then this corner. And I'm going to go ahead and I did a yarn over like that, grabbed it, and then I'm going to pull through both. So basically we're just attaching the two squares together. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this top, um, these top two like little, this is the top of the stitch on this one and then the top of the stitch on this one. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the yarn through and then yarn over and pull through. So I'm just basically attaching the two squares together. Just like that. And I'm going to continue on down the top of the squares, crocheting them all the way together. Go ahead and Crochet. Now there are other ways that you can attach um, the squares together. You can just sew them together with your little tapestry needle and the yarn. You There are so many ways to attach squares together just on YouTube tutorials. So you can pick whatever way you like and sew them together. So let me continue on. And I'm not doing this super tight, you know, I'm just doing it so that it is about the same um, as the squares were crocheted in, so it doesn't pull on it. If you were pulling it really tight, it might pull the squares kind of and distort them. So, almost at the end. Okay, so now I'm in this last hole. 
I'm going to go into that, the two chain space, and then I'm going to go to it on that other one and just crochet them together just like that. Okay, so now we've done this little crochet edge and these are both connected just like that. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick up another square, which now this is going to be my, my other square for my back of my bag, just like this. And I'm going to, to um, put it right here. And I'm going to go ahead and continue crocheting on the next side of so if it looks if if, it, if we're looking at it like this, there's the center square over here. This is the corner square that we're going to fold in half like that on our bag, and then this is going to be the back side square of the back side of the bag, which is the other you know the other large uh, square on the bag or full square. And so I'm going to go ahead and I didn't even tell you what I was doing. I'm going to go ahead and. Be, keep the yarn attached and I'm going to go ahead into the new square. This is the new square I'm adding with the right side facing out and I'm going to go ahead and put the crochet hook through that and then the crochet hook through that same loop on that other, um, this is going to be the corner square that we're folding in half and I'm going to continue to crochet just like we were doing on the other one. I'm going to go ahead and crochet. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, fold it down like this. And so this is the back side or the inside of my other center square. It's just going to be hanging off to the side of this and I am crocheting across the top of this to put them together. And so basically what it looks like is this at this point. Just if you're making sure all the wrong sides are facing me and I'm going across the top of these two. So I'm gonna go ahead and crochet across the top. Okay, so now we're in that last two chain space corner on each of these. So there's the one behind it, and there's this one, and we're just going to go ahead and connect the two just like that. So let me go ahead and get my scissors. I'm going to go ahead and snip this, and I'm going to pull the yarn through. Okay, so at this point, this is what it looks like. We've got a crochet, um, this is the the inside of your bag, and we've crocheted, this is the front, this is the corner piece, and this is uh, the back side of your bag. And what we're going to go ahead and do, if we did this, you could kind of see what we're doing then a little more clearly. But we've just attached our little corner piece. And so this is the other side of it. And so we just wanted to make sure that we picked the squares that we wanted in the center. Like I wanted that pink one and this pink one, I think, in the center of my bag. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and crochet the other corner piece. And it's going to look like this on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and crochet across this, just like we did on the other one. Okay, so we have it, it looks like this. All the back sides are facing um, 
towards us. And then I'm going to lay this square like this with the right side um, facing me and back sides together. Go ahead and do this so you can see it. And I'm going to start in this corner and then this corner and go ahead and crochet them together. Just like we did the other sides. Okay, now we're to this corner. There it is. The corners are back sides together. We're going to go ahead and go through both, through this corner and this corner. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of look at our bag right here. So we've got all of these pieces seamed. We've got this seamed, this seamed, and this seamed. This is the front, like that. This is one of the front large squares. This is the other front large square, just like that. And then this one now is going to fold down like this. So the next piece that we'll be crocheting together is these two right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put you back down. And I'm not going to break the yarn right here. I'm just going to go ahead and keep going with it. Okay, so I'm going through this corner hole and this corner hole right here, the corner chain two space. And then just like we did the rest. Okay, we're almost at the end. One last stitch together and then in this corner chain two space. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. Almost like a little boat kind of thing. So let me go ahead and up the camera so you can see. Just looks like that. That's one side. Here's the other side. And we'll weave these in. Looks like that. So next we're going to crochet across this bottom. So it should look like this. We'll just go ahead and start in these two um, corner holes on that side or the corner chain two spaces and crochet right across the bottom. And this is coming together really quick. What I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and crochet into this little space right here just to kind of pick up that yarn. You don't have to do this, but I kind of like it so that they're attached to each other the other um, yarn that goes down the other seam 
and I'm going to just go ahead and do that and go ahead and crochet across the bottom. Um, the bottom seam is attached to the side seams and I'll, when I weave it in I'll just weave it in you know into one of these either this one or that one and it will look like they're all kind of attached to each other. And if you ever don't like the way it looks, just pull it back a little and start again. Okay, so now we're in this corner and we're going to go through this and the uh, corner chain two space on the back. And I'm just going to pick up into this, this white, um, this other one we did on this other side. There we go. Just so they're kind of attached like we did on the other side. Now I'm just going to yarn over and pull through. And now we'll weave in the yarn. So I just kind of did that so that they all, so that these intersect, this bottom one intersects with this one so that I can make it look kind of like it's all attached. So I'm just going to go ahead and weave in the yarn at the end. And if it splits like this, I just put that little split piece in the needle. And continue weaving it in along with the other one. Just like that. So I kind of like the way it intersects. So the reason I did it is so that it looks like it's attached, you know, like this is attached to this. It just looks a little cleaner. So but you can do it however you like. Whatever you would like to do is fine. I'm just gonna put it through a few more. Okay. Go ahead and snip that. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. And definitely you can just weave this in however you like. I'm just kind of going under the white. Um, little stitches because the inside I plan to line the bag so so you shouldn't see anything on the inside when we're done with it okay I like how that looks okay again so I just kind of wanted to both of the corners to intersect you know, so it looks a little bit neater. Okay, so we still have these little ends to weave in later on, and I'm actually not gonna weave those in. I'm gonna crochet over them, like we did on the squares. So, so that is what it looks like currently. Go ahead and show you. So that's what it looks like. I really like the way it's turning out. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is go around the top edge. So we're just going to single crochet around the top edge and crochet these underneath that. Like we'll just crochet right over the top of that so we don't have to weave those in. I'm going to go ahead and make a, another slip knot and I'll just start right here just randomly I'll pick that spot so I've attached it just with a chain and then I'm gonna go ahead and single crochet all the way around into the top 
of each stitch and I'm single crocheting over that is the tail that I just put down on the yarn but I'm picking up these two stitches like right there do you see or they're not two stitches but it's like the front and the back of the stitch um, I'm picking up the front and the back of the stitch just like this and I am just single crocheting all the way around the top of the bag And then now that I'm at the corner, I'm just going to go ahead and do one in this corner. And I'm going to do one in this corner, just hopping over to the next corner. Just like that, it kind of pulls it together. And then I'm continuing on. And I'm also, um, I'm just finishing um, crocheting over that first extra, that tail of yarn. And I'm starting to crochet over this other tail of yarn. And if this is, uh, if that's too much, you don't want to do that, you can just weave it in later if you'd like to, if you don't want to crochet over it, but I feel like it's a little faster. And see, there's just like a little furry bit. You can snip that. That's the end of that first tail. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to crochet all the way around the top. And I will meet back up with you when I get to the, just to this corner, I would say. And we'll just say how I go around the corner. Okay, so now I'm back at this, the end of this uh, side. And I have reached the corner and I've crocheted in the top of each one of these. I'm going to go ahead and crochet two um, in the top of the corner um, space. And then I'm going to continue around the other side, just doing the same thing. Just going like this on the other side. And then I'll, of course, crochet these ends in as well of these two. And I will meet back up with you when I get to the other corner. Just going like that. Okay, I'm coming back up on where I started the round. And now this is where you could be putting your stitch marker if you like. I'll just go ahead and stick one in there just so you can kind of see where to join it. But you don't have to. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and snip my yarn right there. And I'm going to go ahead, I think I'm going to join, actually I'll just join here. Yeah, I'll just tie to the end of this. Or I could join it another spot just so it doesn't make, uh, you know, a, a lump here eventually after I do all these rounds, but it should be okay. Yeah, I'm just going to make a slip knot and join right in front of here. And then continue on working over. Go ahead and take this marker out. So I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And I'm working over both ends, both of my little tails, so I don't have to weave them in later. And I can attach my marker back on.
if I want, or I could just leave it off. Okay, I'll just leave it on there. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue on single crocheting around with the the colored multicolored yarn. I just kind of wanted to do like a little stripe of it. And then I'll go back around with one more one more white stripe. I'll just join that one back in. Crochet over the end of the colored one. And catch back up with you. So this is kind of what it's looking like. Like that. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. And I am just coming up with attaching the end of the multicolored yarn with the beginning. Go ahead and remove the little marker for now. Just going to crochet into the, that first stitch, slip, do a little slip stitch. Do that. Okay, and then we'll crochet over that end when we come to it. But basically here is our bag, the top of it. Doing one more round on it. Going to make another slip knot. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and attach it. I'm going to attach it before the other one so that I can just go ahead and crochet over it without it being too thick right there. I didn't want um, this little starting point to be right there. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep doing a single crochet all the way around. Crocheting over our little tail. So this is my little tail from attaching it. And I'm going to go ahead and snip that white one because that one's been crocheted under or over long enough. And continue on. Just crocheting over the multi-colored one a little bit longer. Okay, so it looks like that. I'm going to go ahead and snip this little tail. Okay, I will be back when I've crocheted the white all the way around. Just done single crochet all the way around. It looks like a little tail's poking out right there. I'm going to go ahead and snip that. It's from another time that I crocheted over another little end. Okay, all right, I'll be back. Okay, so now we're back around to the beginning and we're going to do just a slip stitch right here to join. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and weave that end in on the inside. Okay. Go ahead and snip it. Alrighty, so our bag is really coming together. There's a little piece of it. Oop, there's a little end. Okay. More little bits. I really like how it's turning out. Okay, so now the next thing is, is we're going to go ahead and put um, some little uh, kind of things on the sides so that we can attach our strap. So I'm going to just look at the corner pieces right here. So this is the corner. This is where those little um, 
chain two spaces are. And I'm going to go in, so I'm looking at that top chain two space, I'm going to go in on this side of it and on this side of it. I just did a slip knot like that, like we've been doing all along. And then I'm going to just go in like on this side and on this side, so, and do like single crochet. And then I'm going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then I'm going to go on the other side of this chain two space on the corner, like over here, and attach it. And then go ahead and pull through. Possibly get one more stitch like that. Pull through. Okay. Go ahead and snip my yarn. Now you can do this any way you like. This is just how I'm going to do it is like this. Then I'm going to go ahead and... Now you could turn the work instead of snipping it and then do this whole thing that we're going to do on the back side, but then it leaves these little ridges on that side. I kind of like to see it kind of on the the front side of the work. So I'm going to go ahead and attach again into here. And I will weave this in in a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and just single crochet over this whole little 10 crochet loop. To just cover it. Now it it doesn't matter how many it takes to get over it. Just keep going. You don't have to count them or yours might be a little different than mine. I'm just single crocheting over that little chain 10 loop so that I can make a place to attach my handle to. Now you can do this any way you want. And you can actually just sew your handle onto the bag as well if you would like to do that. I kind of like the way this looks though. So I'm just going to kind of attach it like that. Okay, so it looks like that. I kind of like how that looks. And then I'll go ahead and just pull this through. Now I've got a few pieces of yarn to weave in. I'll go ahead and weave that in. So I'll weave in these two on this side and these two on this side and make it look really tidy. Okay, so you get the gist. You'll just weave in and then you're going to weave in this side the same way. I will catch back up with you when I've gotten both of those woven in. Okay, so now we're back. We're at the point where we have made both of our little side pieces to hold our strap and we're going to go ahead and start on our on our strap. So we're going to do a granny strap. So let's go ahead and let me set you down. We'll get started with our granny strap and we're just going to go ahead and make any kind of strap we want. You can make whatever you'd like. I like this one because it does not get stretched out. It's pretty good. It stays pretty firm. So I'm going to start with this color, the multicolored yarn. And we're going to go ahead and make our slip knot. We're going to do something called a foundation single crochet. So we do chain two and then we crochet into here. So we're going to So just like we were kind of when we were crocheting the top, we're going to crochet with that one, the bottom of the stitch, and we're going to have the top two legs underneath. This is underneath the top two legs. So go ahead and 
pull through one, pull through one. So we're going to go ahead and do that again. So I'm going to go under the top two legs right there. I'm going to um, yarn over and then pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. So this is a foundation crochet. So we're going to continue on with this until it is the length that we like. Pull through one, pull through two, okay. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like. It basically does our chain and then our first single crochet row at the same time. So it's kind of a little nifty trick and it's not too hard once you get used to it. So instead of doing, you know, your chain row, you can do uh, both at the same time, you know, and it goes a little quicker. Okay, so I will continue on with this and I will, if it, if it ever at any time looks funky, like you're like, did I do something wrong? You can just pull it back like that and then just go ahead and pick up where you left off. And so right now, if I put two on there, I would do pull through one and then I would keep going with it. Like if you, you're looking at it and it looks a little strange in a spot, just pull it back and continue on. Okay, I'm liking how that's looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and continue on until it's the length that I would like. I will meet back up with you when I get it there. Okay, so I'm back and I have done my foundation uh, crochet chain. So basically we did our chain and our first row of single crochet at the same time. You can go ahead and measure it on you across your shoulder to see how long you would like it. And then remember that there's just a little bit um, like a fold over and then we're going to stitch it on here. So make it just slightly longer than you need. So we're going to go ahead and continue on with this um, granny strap. So I, go, I went ahead and snipped the end. I'm going to go ahead and pull it through like that. And now we're going to do the next row, which kind of goes around uh, that. I'm going to go ahead and make our slip knot. And then I'm going to go ahead and start on one of the sides. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to do single crochet and then another single crochet. I'm going to do two single crochets in that spot and then I'm going to do a chain and then another and then I'm going to skip this one, the next one, the next um, single crochet and I'm going to do two single crochets chain one, single crochet, single crochet, chain one. Skipping this one, going to this one, single crochet, single crochet, chain one. Skipping this one, going into the next one, single crochet, single crochet, chain one. Skipping this one, going into this one, single crochet, single crochet, chain one. Skipping this one, single crochet, single crochet, chain one. Skipping this one and you get the, the gist. We're going to go ahead and go all the way down. So this is what it's beginning to look like. I started a couple of um, 
stitches in. But this is what it looks like. We're going to go all the way down this side. And then we're going to turn around at the corner. I'll show you how to do that. And then we're going to come back up this side doing the same thing. So it's basically just going to make this really wide. And this strip that we just made was our center strip. We're going to do the same pattern along the bottom. I will meet you back here when I get to the end and I'll show you how to flip around on the end. Okay, so I've come to the end of this, um, of the row. I have done that all along this whole entire uh, strip and what I'm going to do is I did um, two uh, single crochets. I'm going to do two chains and then I'm going to do two single crochets in the very end to make it around the corner. I'm going to do two more chains and then I'm going to do go into this side of it oops, and do two single crochets so that is how I went around the corner and then I'm going to do my chain one and then I'm going into the opposite side and doing the same thing all the way down the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and so I have my chain one, I'm going to do a single crochet, another single crochet in that same spot, chain one, and then I'm skipping that next one and going into this one and I'm going to do single crochet, single crochet, chain one. And I'm also going over the end the tail so that you don't have to weave that in later. So single crochet, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, single crochet, chain one. single crochet, single crochet, chain one, and do you see how it's looking? I love the way it looks. It's super cute. So we're going to keep going until we get down to the end of this other side, and then I will catch up with you for our last round. We're going to do one more round around this to make our strap and to make it nice and tight so that it doesn't stretch out and you'll be happy with it. I will be right back. Okay, so now I am back and I'm at the very, the other end. And I have um, two chains to make. And then I'm going to do two single crochets, two more chains, and then attach it. Okay, so that's how that end looks. I'm going to go ahead and snip the yarn. Okay, and so this is what it looks like so far. So now we're going to go ahead and put the third uh, round around it, and we're going to go back to the colored, the multicolored yarn. I'm going to do a attach again. We're going to attach to, see I'll just go ahead and attach in here. We're going to attach in between in one of these areas where we have the chain ones. So we're going to go ahead and attach there. And we're going to put two. I'm going to go ahead and cover over this tail. So we'll put two single crochets and then we'll do one chain and two single crochets. One chain, two single crochets, one chain, two single crochets, one 
one chain, two single crochets, one chain, and that is how it's starting to look. So I'm going to continue on all the way around doing the same thing and I will catch up with you when I get to the end of this side. Okay, I'm coming up on my first um, end on that third round of the granny strap. So I have done my two single crochets, chain one. Now I'm putting three single crochets in the space. And then do chain one. And I'm going to go ahead and put three single crochets in this space, chain one, and I have a couple ends here I'm writing over, or I'm crocheting over, and then I do two single crochets, chain one. two single crochets, chain one, two single crochets, chain one, and of course if you don't want to crochet over those ends you can weave them in later, but I kind of like to do it all at one time. Two single crochets, chain one, two single crochets, chain one. I can go ahead and snip these two little ends. There we go. I love how that's looking. Two single crochets. We're just going in that little space above right there is the next space we're going into. So we did two single crochets in there, chain one, two single crochets in here, chain one, two single crochets in here, chain one, two single crochets, chain one, two single crochets, chain one, and that is what it's looking like. I really love it. Okay, so let me finish up this strap and we'll get it put on our bag and we'll get a move on. Okay, we're coming around to the end of the strap and we did our two single crochets, chain one, and then we're going to put three single crochets one, two, and three, chain one, one, two, and three. You just do three in that corner because it's going around the corner. And one chain and then two single crochets, chain one, and attach it. Bam, okay, so finally, okay, so now let's go ahead, okay, so that is what our strap looks like, and because of the color changes, it's just changing color all the way through. I love how it turns out, and it is very sturdy. So now I'm just going to go ahead and weave in any ends that I did not get. Okay, that looks good. So that's one end. Okay, now let's go ahead and get our strap put on our bag. Okay, so this is the wrong side and then this is the right side. And of course you can do it whatever way you'd like, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it through my little loop with the wrong side facing in and the outside, this is the right side facing out. I'm going to go ahead and 
stitch it down right there. So let me get some of this, the colorful yarn on a needle. And we'll go ahead and get that put on here. What I'll end up doing is I'll just go ahead and tie this on like so. And you can do this however you like for sure. And I'm just going to stitch it on like a little whip stitch. And I'm stitching over my end so I don't have to weave it in. I'm trying not to poke through to the front just picking up the yarn in the back. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. A little, secure it. And then I'll weave in both of these ends. Let me go ahead and just weave this one in right now since it's already on the needle. Okay, and then I'll snip this. I will go back and get that one in a second. Just making sure that I have it right side out. And I'll go ahead and do this side. Same thing. I will catch back up with you when I've got them both secured on. Okay, so we've got both of our straps put on the bag, both sides of our straps put on the bag, and I do love how it looks. Let me go ahead and show you. That's how it looks so far. Now the next thing I was going to do is go ahead and line it. And then I was thinking that I would like to crochet both of these sides together here and here, just like we did this, and uh, have a small opening to put your hand in to get out your stuff. I would like to line it with fabric. So that will be the next step that we'll show you how to do. But I love it so far. It turned out so cute. I love the strap. It's nice and it's beginner friendly for sure. I have picked out some fabric that I am going to go ahead and line the bag with and my thought is that if I wanted directional fabric then I will put it like this so that the this happens to be these little skier guys and they're the same kind of colors as my bag so I thought it would be cute lining and um, if I want them to go the right direction, I would go ahead and fold this so they're the bottom part of them are together. And I'll put my bag right on top of it. And I have enough fabric for this bag. I just want to make maybe about um, a quarter to a half of an inch around the, the bag. I'll just go ahead and cut the fabric and then I'll do a half of an inch across the top so that I can fold it down once I sew it and then I'm going to hand stitch it into the inside of the bag. So I will be back once I've cut the piece of fabric. This is what it ended up looking like. It's just slightly larger than my bag and I went ahead and pinked this top edge with the pinking shears. And I'm gonna go ahead and stitch along these both of these sides, and then I'll fold the top down and I'll hand stitch it inside. So I will show you what it looks like when I get done with it, or at the next step. Okay, so I'm over here at the ironing board and I just put some clips on it. I went ahead and clipped all the way around where I'm going to be sewing. And I'll be this had a little bit of salvage on it, but I'm going to go ahead and sew on the inside of that, so it should be fine. And I'll go ahead and sew about a half an inch in all the way around on these clipped sides. Back 
uh, to the ironing board, I went ahead and made that seam allowance and then I pinked all of the edges. I went ahead and did that little pinking shears around it so that it doesn't fray. And the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this under and iron it under. I'm going to go ahead and make sure it fits inside of my bag and then I'll hand stitch it in there and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I went ahead and turned it under one time and ironed it down. Now I'm going to fold it over one more time and iron that down. Okay, so now I have made the lining for the bag. This is what it looks like. It fits right inside the bag. And I'm going to go ahead and hand stitch it inside of the edge of the bag, being sure not to get this very... Um, outer edge because I'm going to end up crocheting this top two sides together up to here. So I'm going to sew it in by hand, but I'm going to do it down a little bit further like that. Okay, and I'll catch back up with you when I get that done. Okay, so currently I am sewing in the lining. I have this like, it's like an invisible thread. It's clear and I am just whip stitching in the lining. And I'm doing it down low enough so that I can still um, crochet on this top edge in the future. So I'm just doing it just, just like this. And I know it's hard to see because it's clear, like nylon thread. I will catch up with you when I'm done. But so far that's how it's looking. Okay, so now this is how it looks once the lining is hand stitched in. Looks like this. I really like how it turned out. And so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do some crocheting across the top edge right here and right here. So that you just have the space in the center to put your hand in. You can go ahead and add a zipper to that space if you like, or you can add like a little loop with a little toggle button, you know, to keep it closed. But I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. I'm going to start with making a slip knot. And I'm going to go on this seam on the side of the bag where the squares are crocheted together. I'm going to go to the very top and insert the hook inside of the um, this side. And then on this side, insert the hook in the top stitch of that side. And then I'm going to go ahead and let me move my tail out of the way like that. I'm going to go ahead and crochet, like make a seam on the top, crochet the sides together. I'm going to go ahead and move my tail over here so I can crochet over my tail at the same time and then I don't have to weave that in. So I'm going in one stitch on the top of either side of the bag, just like this, and crocheting over the tail. So in this side, in that side, grab the yarn, and then pull through two. So I'm just going to do this across the whole um, rest of the top of the bag over to here, and then I'll meet back up with you. Looks like that so far. Okay, so I went ahead and crocheted all the way to the end and I left this small little hole on that side and then I went ahead and wove in the end um, just along the back and trimmed it. And then I'm going to go ahead and go over to the other side and do the same thing, just starting with a slip knot. And then I'll go ahead and show you how I completed that side. So I'm going to start it the same exact way. I'm just turning it over. 
and I'm going to crochet over my tail just the same way. Okay, so it looks like that so far. I'm going to go ahead and catch up with you when I get to the end. Okay, so now I'm coming to the end of this side and I'm just going to crochet these last few stitches together. Making sure to get each side. Okay, and then this side has that tiny hole just like the other side, but that doesn't bother me. Then I, go, I went ahead and snipped the yarn, pulled it through, and then I just, let me see if I can find my needle, I just weave in this end, just like this, or however you like to weave in your ends, just so it doesn't come loose. Okay, and I love how it turned out. It is so cute. Now, nothing is going to fall out, hopefully. And if you did want to just go ahead and make like a little chain five or something like that and attach it on either side, attach it here, chain five, attach it here, then you could put like a button or, or a toggle right there if you'd like. I'm going to leave mine like this. I think it's fine like this. Then you can put things in it. And if it's hanging, you know, on your side, it shouldn't come out because of the um, crochet, you know, stitch that we did to, to sew it shut. So I love how it turned out. I am definitely making more of these in my future. <laughs> so I'll be showing them in my next uh, makes video. And be sure and check that out if you want to see different versions of this with different yarn uh, samples so you can see what they look like. Thanks for watching. Bye.